Hey everyone, welcome back. This is Amit on behalf of SFDC Panther. In this video, we are going to learn about how we can deploy Mule application to Cloud Up. So before we go, go ahead and try to deploy our application, we first need to know what is Cloud Up. Cloud Up is an integrated platform as a service where we can deploy our class, uh, cross cloud integration applications. We can develop our own API on the top of existing data sources that are available and then we can deploy our on-premise application to CloudUp. Like we developed the API in MuleSoft AnyPoint Studio that is actually in our system, in our local system. Now we need to deploy that into CloudUp. So MuleSoft uses a CloudHub uh, that is provided by Amazon and CloudUp has different different workers workers are nothing basically we define how many workers we wanted to deploy for our ap application so if we wanted to uh, give more bandwidth to our application we need to give more workers to that we will see uh, how we can select those workers while we will be deploying the application now there are three ways we can deploy our application to cloud up first is using jar file that we are going to discuss in this video Second is using any point MuleSoft Studio and the third one is command line interface. We will discuss all these one in a single video. So in this video we are going to discuss how we can deploy the application with the help of .jar file. So let's quickly see. In our previous video we developed an API that was responsible for importing a list of account records into our Salesforce environment. In this video what we are going to do is we are going to import that API as a jar file and then that jar file we are going to use to deploy the application. So we have this pro uh, project that we created is import accounts. To export that project as a jar file right click and then select export option from the menu. Now we need to select MuleSoft any point project to deployable archive file. Once we will select this, it will include all the dependencies. It will include all the metadata that we want to. Whatever all dependencies it has like Salesforce jar files, uh, HTTP listener, everything that we wanted to, it will include all those and it will give us a jar file. So here you can select our location. So I'm going to select a location here. In the desktop, I have a Let's expand it. In the desktop, I have a folder called MuleSoft and there I have another folder called Jars. I'm going to select that and then click on Finish. So once you will uh, click on Finish, it will package all the dependencies into a single jar file and then will give us a jar file that is Java um, runtime files that we can deploy. So Now we have uh, successfully exported the file. So if you wanted to see where the file is, we can quickly get back to our desktop where we have the folder. So this is our folder and inside this folder we have, this is not the correct one. So let's quickly open the right folder. We have MuleSoft and here we have jar files. You can see we are able to see jar file. Now we need to deploy this jar file into the system, into cloud up. So to deploy the jar file into the cloud of, we must need to have any point MuleSoft account uh, that is cloud based account. So uh, I already have, I signed up um, to the account. If you don't have, you can follow this link and even you will get this link into the description of the video as well. Here you need to provide a very basic info and once you will click accept and create account, it will create an account for you and this account will be valid for 30 days. After 30 days, you can create a new account. So here, once you will log in after creating the account, you will see this screen. This is the default screen. And we need to go to the runtime manager. These all components we already discussed into our earlier video. If you have any questions about this component, you can refer that video. Runtime manager is a platform. Runtime manager is a place where we can actually deploy we can manage our all application which are running which uh, our all application that might be a standalone application or an api that we develop 
so for the first time it will ask us to choose the environment so we need to choose sandbox as we are working on uh, the application so once we will select sandbox it will take us to another ui and here we don't have any application running as of now now you can see if you wanted to see the guided file uh, guided way guided path you can select this i'm going to close it for the first time to deploy the application i am clicking on deploy application it is asking the name of application so i'll say that sfdc import accounts okay we uh, it doesn't uh, takes underscore this is why now we can see that this is a green signal and this account is uh, available for us what is the target cloud up because we don't have any other option here here now we have application file what op all options we have is either choose from epic uh, that is exchange so mule exchange is a uh, thing that uh, is a marketplace similar to the app exchange app exchange provide solutions related to salesforce and mule exchange provide solution related to mulesoft so we need to upload our file we will select that option and then again we will browse to that folder where we actually have our jar file let's select this so now we we selected this this is what we are talking about what is a runtime version either we wanted to select 2.2 or 1.6 because uh, we are using uh, mules uh, mule runtime server 2.2 uh, here we have worker size 0.1 cores that means 500 mb for this application so here we can actually select how many how many workers we wanted to deploy for our application so for now we are going to select 0.1 cores uh, and then we will select on deploy application so once we will click on deploy application it will actually first upload this jar file and after uploading the jar file it will actually start the deployment and we will also see the debug log how the deployment is being happened and if there is any error the error will also be there in the debug log so let's wait until uh, we are able to uh, see that uh, logs so it is importing the jar file and in the meanwhile we have some other types like properties that we will discuss uh, later on and we have some login so here we are going to see some uh, log information if you wanted to uh, do some logging like with the help of uh, log4j that is a java library and we can also use static IPs uh, like uh, for which IP we actually wanted to mask our product we wanted to deploy our API all these things here we have so now uh, let's wait for a few more seconds and we will be able to see how it is going to deploy and how the deployment happens in the cloud up so now we have successfully uploaded the jar file so let's wait now it is uh, saying that we are also getting the message this is our application name and it is trying to deploy and here everything that we we will see and uh, this is a live console and we will see the live uh, logs here as well and then if you wanted to do a search we can do a search we have some advanced as well we wanted to based on some date times uh, and uh, from to date or what all priority we have error info system console all those things we can apply here with the help of advanced search so let let's wait until our application is successfully deployed and then after we will get an endpoint URL that will actually we will use to uh, import our I'm sorry import our accounts so now our application is live we can see a green dot that means our application is successfully deployed and we can use that application and even here we can see a message your application is started now once if we click on dashboard where we can actually get how many uh, API uh, like how many APIs, what is uh, the CPU is being used, uh, how the memory is being used in for this application. We wanted to see the logs, all those things we can. We wanted to uh, schedule our application to run at a particular time. We can uh, schedule as well here. And once you we will go back to applications, 
here we will see this is our application and here we will see the list of all the application that we have deployed into the cloud hub now let's uh, let's open this and this is our url this is the actual url that we need to hit so if we hit is so here you can see we are able to see no listener found for endpoint forward slash why because we did not provide any listener for this particular url for which URL we provided is let's get back to the HTTP listener and we have forward slash accounts and even if we uh, edit this we don't have any base path that means if you put forward slash account here accounts we should get uh, some message or error so method not allowed for this why because whenever we are hitting any endpoint from the browser that actually is a get get call but in our project configuration we provided only that uh, we said that there is only post method supported for this actual um, for this complete project complete api so now to test this let's get back to postman here so i have opened that postman the method that we need to select is post here it is uh, an url that we get and the body that we need to send is a sample JSON file that we also used while we developed that application. Now let's try to send and before sending that let's get back to our Salesforce environment under account let's refresh this and see if we have any account this week we, we created. So we have we have zero items for this week. Now let's click on send this button and we should be able to see success message or error message so we are able to see record created and even this is a record id so we can see that we have total seven records created because indexing is starting up from zero so let's try to make sure that we have so here we can see that we have total seven accounts and all information that we have uh, that what we are passing from our json file is that is available there so we have salesforce.com, uh, we have Amazon, we have uh, Microsoft, we have Mulesoft, every account that we sent that is here. So this is how you can uh, deploy your uh, Mule application with the help of a jar file to your cloud hub, cloud hub uh, server. So if you have any questions, these are the contact details of mine. You can uh, directly DM me or LinkedIn or you can uh, Follow me on uh, Facebook, Twitter, or you can uh, even email me at my email ID. So this is it for this uh, video, and you will get uh, the link for sign up of the um, sign up for the Mulesoft Cloud account and this PPT as well. Thank you.